Welcome back, everybody. You are tuned into the Now Morning Show right here on TTT, also on Talk City 91.1 FM, and streaming live on Facebook at TTT Live Online. Now, the question is, is there not a cause? And what I'm talking about is what is happening in the Bahamas right now and what they are experiencing in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian. Now, with me this morning is Avnel Hector Joseph, and she's the lead for the organization, Is There Not a Cause? Good morning and welcome. Good morning and thanks for having me pre-coffee. Let's see what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here pre-coffee, you know, because it's early in the morning and uh, it's not always the easiest for everybody. All right, so let's talk about Is There Not a Cause? Tell me about your organization. Okay, so we are born and bred, Trinidad and Tobago, proud to say that, uh, since 2002, officially registered with the government in 2007. And uh, we've been involved, not the cause of, but we've been involved in many of the major disasters in the last 17 years, I think, except China, Italy, and Chile. Uh, but more or less where there's been a disaster, we're either there physically or we have added support to some partner that's on the ground. Is, there no, is it now multinational, this organization? Oh yeah, we are, we are registered in, in Haiti and in oh. Kenya, but we do work in a number of different countries. In fact, we were planning to go off to St. Lucia, and if anybody from Cal is listening, we're asking them to change our tickets so we could go over to uh, Bahamas, because Bahamas, that is right. where the person need us now. Yes, exactly. And I understand Is There Not A Cause is hosting an event to raise funds for relief efforts. Yes, so we already have partners on the ground in, uh, in the Bahamas and the next person leaves on Friday to head out to Miami to purchase supplies. We will do the normal collections from here and do containers, but because of the agency of the need, the fastest thing is get people to Miami and then ship, stay, let them stay there and go back and forth from Miami to Bahamas. On Friday evening, again, we, we trust that we get a good response from the police, so if anybody from the commissioner's office is listening, we have a space that we use where we house, where we educate the 100 Venezuelan children, right? Our okay. learning space. So we are at the corner of Calcutta Street and Western Mino. That's near to uh, standards. So we are upstairs and we are downstairs on Friday evening. We are on the pavement. And if we get permission, we can block off that little piece there between Madras and Calcutta. And we have uh, some of the leading gospel artists in the country coming wow. in. And we start from 8. We say, chill with the sun. Yeah, so we until the sun up. So we're going to be liming all through the night we bring in their financial contributions. Then we'll do other things in the past. We've had a uh, partnership with people like Bungie and different people and Fair, and I'm sure they will come on board as they have been doing with us for years and to do other things. So we're reaching out to corporate TNT. We're reaching out to the average man. You know, we have a trusted reputation. People know us. They call us the Haiti people. But we are more <laughs> than just Haiti. We are very much Trinidad and Tobago. We really, by the grace of God, we were able to give like about 40-something families in that collaboration with Bungie and Fair and, and um, Nicki Minaj and whoever. $6,000 worth of furniture at home. So if you're listening wow. and you're saying, what about Trinidad? We just gave out 200 back to school books, with, you know, bags with stuff. And we're always doing stuff. Come Christmas, it's going to be hundreds of hampers. So our heart is very much at home. Our whole project is called 868 for 242. That's the area codes. We are one Caribbean people. And I don't just say that. I really want to see the region get to that place. So Bahamas pain is all of our pain. We are going to be there Friday. If you're not into that kind of music, that kind of style, just pop by bring a contribution right on the Western Main Road between Madras and Calcutta Street. Now, all these relief efforts that you engage in, you know, um, in Trinidad and Tobago and internationally, these things cost money. Lots of uh, it. How are funds raised to provide relief for so many projects? Well, I wish one day the government will give us a, a subvention, and I wish one day that corporate TNT will come on more. Uh, we mostly get corporate funding. Like, okay, so now there's a disaster. For a lot of companies, we are their go-to. They would bring that check. But we don't have like an annual budget or, so that we really start off the year by faith. God, what are you going to do for us this year and how are we going to make it through? We have lots of faithful people, like, a, like, like the little pensioners for the last 17 years who gave $100. It might seem insignificant. But we have like 100 pensioners giving nearly $100. And I don't say little. And everything it's adds big. up. It adds yeah. up. We do a lot, a lot of events like for restaurant week. We're going to do a Haiti night, a Venezuela night, an African night. And the money will go to those particular countries. Like, so we, have a, uh, we bought land in Kenya, and we're doing a rescue center for girls who are victims of wow. female genital mutilation. Yes. That's, that's dear to my heart, and childhood prostitution. So um, we have schools in, in Haiti. That's why I'm off to Haiti this week, and I'm going to go to Bahamas, Haiti, come back Miami, go back Bahamas, because we're launching a school, another school and, and program. So we keep appealing to people. Times like these, we get a lot of funds because it's a... It's like, ah, oh, people are emotional, but then there are those low times where we have to drive a little harder through right. Facebook Live and call up Tanti and so God. We need to pay for the learning school. Um, we have the, the 100 migrant children. You know, we would like to give them meals, but we are not able to. Whenever we get hot dogs or drinks, we give them. 
Um, we do Thursday afternoon, so today we were on a free medical clinic for the migrants in St. James right there at right. the same space that we are having the event on the Western Main Road. That fluorescence, that is our landmark. And uh, we've gone through all the country doing stuff, and people come with us. We provide, we have helped deportees, we have helped women who are in violent situations, and also our housing capacity is not for women in violent situations because we don't have that level of security. But you just transition, you lose your job. You know, we have what we call the working poor. People say, right. hey, have you listened? I don't want no food till I still month in. And we see how we can. So it's, it's really right. grassroots. A lot of people coming together and doing what they can. Hey, have you have extra bed? Hey, a, a change in my stove you wanted, we just take it, you know. And so that's how we help people. Somebody say, listen, I'm going away for a year. Use my house for a year. So we have, by the grace of God, found very innovative ways. And there are a lot of people through that who want to do stuff. And so they, they don't know how to do it. So right. listen, you know, I have a skill. They come, we can use that skill. That's amazing, you know, the work that you do and all that you've described. Um, and it's so widespread. How many people are actually a part of the Is There Not a Cause organization? About 40 people are part of our organization regularly. Now, like say, for example, in 2010, we had like over 500 volunteers because the earthquake happened. It pulls right. out people's uh, heart springs. Heart strings, yes. Heart strings, right? Um, floods, like, so now we're going to have like an influx of, of, of volunteers. But what we do is hard work. Some, we have a lot of people who work, they leave 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, they don't get paid, then they have to go back home to their job. Some of them live in the east have to travel. So it's a lot of work. So when the, the energy the, is not pumping like that, you find it's, it's tedious. But right. you know, for the 17 years, I really thank God that there have been some people who have stayed the cause and they say, hey, yeah, there's a cause. I want to give back. Because I believe we must leave the space that we've been entrusted to better. That's why and I feel passionate. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's, it's like a trust that God has given to us. So the event coming up on this Friday, tell me um, what time, where, okay. and how do people gain access? 8 p.m. I want to say, maybe you're not into gospel music, um, you can still come by. Chill's going to have Charmin for those of you who've been around the party days. She's going to be singing, right? Um, Jara News, everybody know him for Fed Up. Right. Like we have been hearing it a lot. Um, <laughs> we love that song because it's so powerful in terms of what we're dealing with. People know positive and different songs. His music has crossed over. Blessed Messenger, a whole lot of things. We have a steel band. And it ain't no Juku Juku Sima. It's like a real orchestra. <laughs> They're real banging. You understand? <laughs> they could go with my face. So yes. They're real good. I'm not just saying that. So we are going to be on the street in St. James. They could pass by. Most Trinidad go through St. James. In they Virginia. want sauce. They want chana. I don't get the drink in the chat. Put the chat in the doubles, but I want to like it in a cup. Some, some, people, some people on a diet, yeah. you know, so they just have I should probably be on one too, right? So you can have a lot of food. Empanadas yeah. or Venezuelan family, they right. come in through. Because that's one thing I love about it. Let me try a trip from Venezuelan peeps. They're the most thankful, grateful people that we have ever helped. They always want to come along so they could give, bring something, do something, be a part of it. So they're bringing empanadas for, for us to sell. You're going to have lots of sauce, bacon, shark, no catfish, real right. shark stuff. <laughs> But I'm, I might make buljol. That's one of the only things I could make. And it's just focus on one thing and do this. I can make a good buljol. So we're going to be selling lots of stuff. You could just pass by popcorn. You know, we block off the street by faith. Okay, police, please. Right? right. It's not with downstairs and upstairs. And we're going to have lots of stuff. You could just pass by to eat, pop something in the box. And we're going to let people know where they can give support. And we, have, we bank with public bank and we bank with first citizens. You can go to our organizations. Is there not a cause? You could drop something. We have a GoFundMe in case you're the international audience. There are like 800 GoFundMe, somebody said, or 80 or some kind of madness. But look for Itnak, Dorian, um, and thing. You know, when we go places, we sleep on the floor. We sleep in schools. In 2010, we actually slept on the border between Santo Domingo. So we're not taking your money for me to go and stay in some fine Fancy hotel or fly. Right? Right. We eat quicks. We pack tuna. I don't go and pack my supplies already. And we make sure that as much as possible, the majority of the money designated can go so that we reduce the cost of aid because that's an international problem. The organizations, and I'm not here to call names, they might spend $1.50 for every dollar U.S. aid. We try to reduce it, and that's like a sacred trust. We don't just throw things into general pools. We give it to, to the persons on the ground, or we give it to trusted partners in the country. So, you know, your money is in good hands, and if you want to, you know, be a part physically, there's also that option to go into bah Bahamas, or to be right at here, home here, to pack stuff and to store stuff. Avnel Hector Joseph, team lead for Is There Not A Cause. Thank you so much for sharing everything you have with us. I do wish you the best moving forward for the organization and the fantastic work that you do on a daily basis. You know, and um, for that event coming up on Friday, we're excited. This is in St. James starting at 8 p.m. It's going to be great. Yeah. We now go across to Ainka 